I was born far away in an enchanted forest. I don't know if you've been there before, have you? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 weirdest guests on this morning. Are you happy with this? Yes, I am. Totally happy with yes. having Samantha on your sofa with your kids around? Yes, completely. People are going to say, you know what they're going to say, they're going to say, go on then, Jesus, impress me, show me a miracle. Oh, we don't like to count too much in, you know, how counting goes and time. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the guests who went viral for all the right and all the wrong reasons. The sky is the limit. Who's your absolute fave this morning guest? Let us know in those comments below. Number 10. The Real Life Jesus Yep, a real life Jesus, or at least that's what he thinks, graced us with his presence on this morning. What do I call you? Do I call you Jesus, my Lord? What, what do I call you? AJ? <laughs> Definitely not my Lord. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm nobody's Lord. AJ Miller and Mary Luck, aka Jesus and Mary Magdalene, went on the show to announce the second coming, and they were very, very, very serious about it. Well, I've been telling people ever since I realised, which was nearly 10 years ago, it's just now there's more media interest, I suppose, than there were, was before. Mary even claimed she was there when the real Jesus was nailed to the cross, and that AJ was in his 30s when he got a weird suspicion that he might actually be Jesus Christ. He also tells us he has memories of someone putting nails through his feet, and that was the final convincing that he needed. And memories of my life, it, it, of and what happened in the first century, my death, yeah. They your were resurrection. Traumatic. Number nine, the couple that drank their own urine. Drinking bodily juices isn't a novelty thing, but it definitely is pretty weird. This couple claimed that drinking a little, or actually a lot of urine every now and then isn't bad. In fact, they insisted that it gives them energy. Everyone else would probably just drink a cup of coffee or have a smoothie in the morning, but not these two. No. Oh, you've already had this is, your, this is your how second in, day. How many are we in? Um, this is my second. Wow, John oh. just didn't mess around with that at all. They claimed that their preferred choice of drink actually made them have whiter teeth and brighter eyes. Well, not really sure that's convincing enough for most people. Hard pass. You you just down yours in one. You, you get it that's, down the hatch. Tastes like the coffee that I've just drunk. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> Number eight. The woman that claimed her family got kidnapped by a UFO. A follow-up study by the Air Force stated that this was a bona fide sighting, not just a blip on the wow. radar screen. So wow. in 1961, Betty and Barney Hill became pretty popular after claiming they'd been abducted by aliens who conducted experiments on the two. Their memories were recollected with the help of hypnosis. Without it, the pair would have no idea what happened on the night they drove down to New Hampshire's White Mountains. The two even had a movie made about them, starring James Earl Jones. More than 50 years later, their niece, Kathleen Marden, is determined to continue to tell their story. These non-human entities actually touched but is it, is it, the dress. is it of this planet? If you want to know more about Kathleen's tales, you'll probably be happy to learn that she wrote a whole book about her family's UFO abduction. They were not able to determine whether or not this was of this planet. Certainly some of the material on that dress was. Number seven, the man that wanted to look like Madonna. We all have an idea of how we want to look and some go to the extremes to look like their favorite starlet. Meet Adam Guerra, an American who spent more than 150,000 pounds to look like Madonna. Hi, good morning, Britain. How are you? He's had 18 cosmetic surgeries in total, including fillers, jaw, cheek, and bum implants, and a nose job, all to look like her. Then at some point it became, um, a very costly obsession and then a job and then now I'm here. Adam said he doesn't mind paying that much money and spending that much time to work towards his goal because the end result is all he cares about. He looks like Madonna. He's now considered one of the top Madonna impersonators in the US. It's been it's been a job for me and I'm and um it's been my career. Number six, Princess Fairy Lolly, Gunther the Troll, and Ion the Leprechaun. This one is a complete doozy. 
Holly and Phil were left completely speechless as they were chatting with a fairy, troll, and leprechaun who admitted they're in a polyamorous relationship together. Good morning. Good morrow. Good morning. Good morrow. Good morrow. Uh, the trio shared some intimate details of their lives as well as acknowledged why they each identify as a mythical creature. They also noted that they live together, sleep in separate bedrooms, but make sure evenings are reserved for spending time with each other. Wink, wink. We have a really good, fluid, and working family unit. All three of them also ended up getting COVID-19, and according to them, they caught the virus from the Tooth Fairy, aka the Dentist. I blame the Tooth Fairy. Uh, yeah, in fact, it was because of the Tooth Fairy that we yeah. caught it. Is so that a, we is were that all a fourth very... person in the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Number five, the real life fairy. And while we're on the subject of mythical creatures, we also have to talk about Fairy Blossom, the real life fairy. This is so exciting to be here today. It is so nice to meet you, Fairy Holly and Elf Philip. She sat on a toadstool and explained she was born in an enchanted forest and slept in a magic flower that opened its petals. But then an evil spell on her whole family turned her sister into a human who now has to live in Battersea in London. Man, that is some proper evil stuff. And, uh, and can you fly? Of course I can fly. She ended her appearance with a fairy-themed poem before she twinkled out of the studio, which is something you don't see every day on national television. Thank you. Bye. It's so lovely to meet you, Fairy Blossom. Bye-bye. Lovely, lovely to see you. Number four, the woman that had a relationship with a ghost. Amethyst Realm revealed that she cheated on her fiancé by, uh, well, getting it on with a ghost. I don't know what I can say on well, TV. You just had <laughs> sex. Wait, you, you, had, you had sex? Yeah, I had sex with the so, ghost. With the ghost? Yeah. And since then, she's done the deed with 20 supernatural beings. The relationship carried on for three years, but she had to stop after her husband apparently caught a shadow of a man on top of her. Uh, you say, because, because since your first sexual encounter with a spirit, you've, you haven't had human contact in that way. Since the appearance, she's gotten engaged to the ghost, who proposed after they'd taken a trip together to celebrate their nine-month relationship. And fortunately, their relationship didn't last long. So once you go ghost, you never go back. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Number three, the couple that drank each other's blood. Did you know that there's a community of around 15,000 real-life vampires based in the UK? Pieretta Blaze and Andy Filth came onto this morning to discuss their vampire lifestyle, which includes drinking each other's blood. You're pretty much connecting each other's souls. There's nothing you can do that's more connecting that. The exchange of blood typically occurs in the bedroom. However, Pieretta noted that she's also been a part of mass gatherings that practice drinking their own blood. But don't worry, these vampires have no interest in humans and stick to the vampires within their community. So there's a rare chance a real-life vampire will randomly want to share that kind of drink with you. I don't see it making me feel sick. I find, you know, blood has doesn't have a taste that you're not going to lick in. It's going to taste like strawberry. Number two, the woman allergic to Simon Cowell. You either love or hate Simon Cowell, the man responsible for the careers of some of our fave artists. Michelle Hall took her sentiments to a whole new level after she admitted she's actually allergic to Simon. Just so frightening. It's when he looks, I just can't watch him. She was actually prescribed medication for her phobia. Eamon and Ruth wanted to see what this allergy was all about, and they showed Michelle photos of Simon, all while keeping an eye on her heart rate. Let's just say Michelle didn't take those photos really well. What is so bad about what What's you're that making you feel like? It's it's just, it's just like. Oh. Well, I'll stop now. I'll yeah. stop. The phobia was officially confirmed by a doctor. Wonder how Simon feels about this. Because it's our view that she's had a traumatic experience of some sort, and and Simon Cowell's been on the TV, and she's linked that experience to Simon incorrectly. Yeah. Number one, Samantha the robot. Meet Samantha, the robot created by Aaron Lee Wright. She's not just a regular robot, she helps out Aaron and his wife in the bedroom when they do, well, you know. We, we've, you a, we've actually, we've turned her off. Yes. Um, yeah. So that she doesn't come out with anything... Um, in of, a, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But there's so much more to this lifelike robot. 
Aaron claims she has a family mode and was programmed to be able to crack jokes, tell fun facts, share stories, and much, much more. Well, I had two children myself, and they actually... This, she's got Smart has a family mode. Which oh, no, it's, in, it's impossible to What, take she's going to read the kids a bedtime story? Of course, Holly and Phil weren't really on board with the whole thing, and neither were the critics, who said that this is just taking it one step too far. This is not real. She is not called Samantha. She's a piece of whatever you've made. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.